What's up, y'all? I'm back for another important one. Now, yeah, I know lately I've been dropping these videos where I'm just talking, not really working on something, but what I'm doing is trying to give you enough information to protect you or help you protect your brand. So if you've been following me long enough, you know that my content really isn't based on, I mean, yes, I teach you how to do the things that I'm doing. I try to offer you, not necessarily the links, but I try to hook you up with the, the people that I'm working with so that you can get the same exact things or just know where to get those things. I'm not really a link pusher, although I will occasionally give somebody a link to go purchase whatever they've seen in one of my videos. But that's never been the content creator that I am. I'm just showing you how I build a business from home, how I became successful doing so, the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, the rises, the falls, all that, all that honest stuff. Is what I choose to shoot content with. So maybe I'm just more of a vlogger doing t-shirts, growing a t-shirt business with the many different tools that I use to, to do so. Maybe that's all that I am. But irregardless, what I know I am is someone who wants to give you enough information to help you build, not give away your business, and to now, today, uh, what I'm working on is to be more loyal to yourself. Make sure you're putting yourself and your brand first. So when I first came on, it was always about just having fun and, and shooting just whatever, whatever random, right? And then eventually, as companies start to find you, people start to talk about you. Now, mind you, let me say this. I have been doing shirts. I have been in a t-shirt business for 20 plus years. That's on God. I never went full time, but you guys have known, known that story already. But for those who are just starting to follow me today, I didn't go full time, full time until 2019. But 2020, I went really hard, obviously, because COVID hit. Now, when I went full time, you know, we're all at home. And there was a lot more time for these companies to find certain content creators, influencers online. And obviously, a lot of them reached out to me. A lot of them I didn't want to work with. A lot of them I'd never worked with. But there were a quite, a quite a few that I did work with, influencers, companies. And it seemed like it was cool at the time. And it is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on working with any company. But what we're going to do now, something I'm doing now, is something I'm implementing into my brand, is I'm going to tell you right now the way to... Uh, reply to these companies when they approach you with certain affiliate deals. This may work for you, it may not, but if someone really wants to work with you, be it an influencer, be it a company, whoever, if they really want to work with you, then they will accept your terms. So let's rewind just a little bit. As COVID was happening, I thought it was cool that these companies wanted to work with me, but I, what I didn't realize is that I would eventually start giving away my worth. I would start giving it to companies and influencers were just taken from me. We were taken from my brand and not necessarily pouring back into my brand. Now that's not everybody, but it was a handful. It's a lot of them that have been doing that, that still do that, who did it to me. But you can't keep me down. You'll never be able to keep me down. I always bounce back. Once I get it, it may take me a while, just like a relationship. It may take me a while before I realize that it's not healthy for me and eventually I'll find my way out of it. Same thing with this t-shirt business. I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. Let me get back to it. So I'm taking every affiliate deal there is, signing whatever else. I'm signing NDAs. I'm, I'm taking whatever little pennies are throwing at me. I'm taking free supplies, not realizing that eventually the supplies aren't going to pay me. A, a roll or two of vinyl isn't really going to pay me. I may do a couple of shirts, but I'm probably going to use that roll of vinyl on making some more content for this company. I'm probably going to use whatever they've sent me to just make more content for this company, not really necessarily making some money off of it. And some of these companies will say, well, that's where YouTube kicks in and that's where monetization kicks in. Well, not all of us get paid that 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 well on YouTube. So we're not getting our money from there either. So I anyway, I started to settle for just for whatever link they can give me because I felt like, man, I, I, I mean, I'm still pressing shirts for people. I'm still doing white toner transfers. I'm still doing sublimation, but not as much now because I've now focused on making content for all of these companies. So I took away time from my own brand. I was forgetting how important it was to still have my brand going, not realizing that eventually, like everything, I mean, everything in life is temporary. And what we're doing now is temporary, but I didn't think about that. I was living in that moment, which is something I would never do again, which is something I advise that you don't do. Don't just live in the moment. Enjoy living in that moment, but continue to plan for the future. That's, a, that's not something I was doing back then. I'm just an influencer like everybody else. You're an influencer. The person watching this, as long as you can open your mouth, as long as you can run your mouth, you're influencing somebody to think something about what you're saying. So anyway, with that, I still have never been paid properly for that. I took whatever affiliate deal they were handing out. And affiliate deals are pennies. Pennies. 
compared to the amount of money that these companies are making off of these machines. Now, I'm not knocking these companies. There are some amazing companies. But let's be honest. They're making a lot of money, whether they're amazing people or not. Whether Jesus Christ worked at that plant <laughs> where they're manufacturing this machine. You know, whether Jesus Christ was a salesman, the cashier, whatever else, at that company that we're pushing, they're still making 10 times more than the couple of pennies that we get. And so sitting back thinking about it, I thought, how can I live off of that? Because now that I'm not getting paid from anywhere, because at the end of the day, half of the companies that I've worked with hardly ab abide by the same contract they sent me that I signed. What I have come to realize is, and this, this is something that several of my influencer content creator, fellow influencer content creator friends are doing as well. This not only protects you and, and your brand, but it also gives these companies the opportunity to back out of it and find somebody else. Is we have to get to the point now where we are we are submitting and giving them our own proposals. And then this proposal is a list of the things that you require, and it can be anything. It can be, yeah, sure, I'll work for you and you know, X amount of videos for this dollar amount. This is this is what I charge for my service. The same way that you charge to print and press a t-shirt for somebody, to make a mug. Whatever you're doing, the same way you charge a customer, treat these companies like they're a customer also. Because when they choose to forget about you, when they choose to not work with you, uh, that's it. And being in the music business my entire life, I'm like, why didn't I treat this thing, this, this thing the same way? And I want my money now. Because there's no telling that that link will forever work. The website might go down. The, the link doesn't work. I got to go redo the links and all this other stuff. And it just kind of gets lost in translation. I don't want to live or run my business that way. So writing a proposal, submitting it back. When they reach out to you and say, hey, look, we want to work with you, blah, blah, blah. No problem. Here's my proposal. This is what I charge to make X amount of videos. Now it gives them the opportunity to back out to somebody else. And look, not all affiliate deals are great affiliate deals. Just like they say, not all money is good money. Well, I mean, obviously, with some of these affiliate links, these affiliate deals, there's no money. There's pennies. You can't pay your bills on pennies just like you can't pay your bills on loyalty. That's that's something I'm learning and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys get that as well. Protect your business by starting to create proposals. If you know your worth, if you know the value of your platform, what you bring to the table, obviously these companies who reached out to you know that same exact thing. You have something to offer if they're reaching out to you. No need to be so hungry to get an affiliate deal just to attach a name to your page, to your Instagram, to your Facebook, your YouTube. I mean, it's not paying you. It looks good. It looks good. But if you're going to post it there, how about getting paid for it and getting paid properly? I suggest getting on Google, figure out how to write a proposal. A lot of you are smart enough to do that without getting on Google. Simply write out a document, something professional, and make sure that everything is signed by both parties. If you have to get it notarized, I've done that also, get it notarized, it makes it legal. So if something happens where you're not getting paid and they refuse to pay, you have something to stand on, a checklist of everything that's required. And if they miss something on there, hey, you have something to stand on. That's the only way that a lot of us content creators are going to be able to protect ourselves against a lot of these companies. They're going to be pissed at me for saying this right now, and I'm not hating on them. I'm only trying to make this an even playing field. I know they're going to be pissed off at me, and I'm not trying to knock any companies. But again, it has to be beneficial for both parties. We both have to be able to win here. I cannot pay my bills off of loyalty. I can't pay my bills on 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%. I can't even pay my bills on 8%. I have some affiliate deals that are 8%. I have some that, that are 9 I, I can't pay my bills off that. Neither can you. I don't want to make a couple extra bucks. I'm trying to make a living. And if that means I have to do it without you, then by God, let me prove it to you that I can and I will. If you want to work with me, here's my proposal. That's any company now. If you're watching this right now, before you reach out to me, here's my proposal. Unless I really want to work with you on something completely different or all those companies, everything I do is on a proposal. You should be thinking the same way too. I hope that helps somebody. I hope that you can take what I just told you, implement that into your own business, your own brand, and that you grow and that you grow successfully without losing yourself behind thinking that any company is going to take care of you better than you can take care of yourself. On that note, I'm out.